Hi guys, Ben here from the 401 Files. Just a really quick video from me. Um, I'm just going to share a thought that I've been having for quite a while now that I think you guys may find interesting. So recently I've been reading a book and this book is all about abductions and the victims of abductions, so the abductees, recalling their, their experience. Some of them have memories, vivid memories, have been on the ship, so they go into great detail about that. Others have memories um, of being continuously abducted throughout their life after the event. But it's great, it's a great book, it goes into details about all these different things. They talk about the moments leading up to their abduction, the years after, and during, which is very fascinating because, like I said, they do go into um, quite a lot of detail about these beings that are visiting Earth and taking people. So it got me thinking, because there's, as you know, a lot of similarities in the UFO field, a lot of similarities in the abduction field, such as missing time, um, people being taken throughout their life as they grow older. And um, another similarity that crosses over to many different abduction cases is that people don't remember the full story. A lot of the time, people only recall the full story through hypnotic regression and this is where it got me thinking because there was one story in the book where actually there was a few but there was one that really hit me where a guy was with a group of friends and they were hanging out it was late at night they were only young kids at the time um, and they decided well two of them decided that they were going to head home and decided to cut across this golf course so these two guys in the dead of night, heading home, left the rest of the guys behind, decided to take a shortcut across this golf course and they saw this creature just off in front of them, moving across the floor, there was no contact with the floor, no legs, but it was moving at such a, a pace that it would be faster than any man trying to run at full speed. So they were baffled, they looked at each other, they both clearly saw this thing and then the story goes on to say that later on, people, other people confirmed that a ship had been seen, some kind of a craft on this golf course with beings underneath it, searching around on the ground below. Um, so this was a very fascinating story because this guy and his friend only thought that they saw this creature. And then they just looked at each other and thought, well, that was strange. What happened, what really happened was that they were abducted. They didn't know this, but they started to have very vivid memories, very sharp memories of this event um, and really terrible dreams and like I said this is what really got me thinking because a lot of you old timers on the channel here on the 401 files will know that I had an experience when I was about 8 or 9, 7, somewhere around that age bracket. I can't really be held accountable for exactly what age I were but I know that was in the Cub Scouts at the time, so it was round about seven, eight or nine, something like that. But I had an experience with what I can only describe as a reptilian. Now I don't like using the word reptilian, I find it quite embarrassing. And I always hate to bring that up in a conversation when it's the first time you've met somebody because that's going to throw them off you straight away and they're going to think you're some kind of a tinfoil hat wearing lunatic, which is normally the case. And here on the 401 files, the videos that I put out, the way I try to um, present myself is as somebody who's level-headed, somebody who's a logical thinker. And so I hate using the word reptilian, but unfortunately, that is the best word that describes what I saw. Now, I didn't see cat-like eyes when, someone, when somebody blinked, which is what's reported quite often. I didn't see somebody shape-shift from human form to reptilian form, nothing like that. I saw a creature in the woods and it's about a seven foot tall creature, green from head to toe, very long arms, tiny head in comparison to its body, and it walked hunched over with a stoop. Now I don't know whether that, that creature or that animal, whatever this thing was, this bipedal creature, was trying to stay hidden and that's why it walked with a stoop, or it was just so tall that that's naturally how it walked. But it wasn't natural, it wasn't anything I'd seen before or after this experience. But the weird thing about this whole experience for me personally is that I never remembered it. I never remembered a single thing about it until about my mid to late 20s when I was at work one day 
and it hit me and I can't explain it it doesn't even sound normal to speak like this and say that this is what happened it sounds far-fetched unrealistic and just out there completely but it did and like so many others as I found out from the experiences in this book the same happened to them I've said it for years to people um, about my experiences I don't know where this, this memory came from but it hit me like a ton of bricks like it happened yesterday it was such a sharp memory that there was no way this was a false memory. I remembered every great detail, even down to the kind of foliage and plants that were growing in that forest that day, in that wood, sorry. And I remember the way this creature looked at me. I remember the way I felt. I remember what happened after or what I thought happened after. But I always, always thought that this was very strange and there was something not quite right about this experience. This creature looked at me, I looked at this creature, it didn't seem phased, it put its head down and carried on walking, and that was it. As far as I'm aware, I turned around, I got back on the bus, and we hit the road, that was it. That, that was what I think my experience of that day was. But this book has taught me one thing, is that a lot of these people think that that is their experience. They think that they saw this weird creature, or this weird being, and they turn around they go home or they're still in the car driving down the road or it just ends and it's very strange because that's exactly what happened with me and like I said to you just then is that a lot of these people go on to have hypnotic regression and pull back a lot of the story that they they, they are unaware of now I'm not going to start saying that I think I was abducted I'm not going to start saying that I think there's more to the story because like I've just said as of now, right here, talking to you guys, I believe that I saw this creature, turned around, got on the bus, and went home. But, it's got me thinking. I've always been fascinated with hypnotic regression. It's always fascinated me to think that something else might have happened that I'm unaware of. And so I'm going to start looking. I'm going to start looking on Google as to who performs these kind of hypnotic regressions. And then I'll be, obviously if I go through with that, I will record the session and it will turn up here on the 401 Files channel for you guys. There might nothing become of it. There might nothing come of this at all. I don't want to make promises. I don't want to speculate. But for me, even if I could just pull back a few of the memories from that day, just to make it a bit more clear, a bit more vivid in my memory, and just to confirm that yes, I did see what I thought I saw, would be brilliant. However, if something else comes out of this, like it didn't just end where I thought it ended, and yes, I was taken or abducted, then bonus, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure we can use that word, but um, it'll be another piece in the puzzle as to what happened that day and probably give me a bit more clarification. Because like I said, I always have felt this was not right, this was norm not normal. But just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to start looking into that. And I don't want to keep waffling on. I've spoke far too long already. I'm out with the dogs. My mouth's getting cold. So I'm sorry if I am fumbling my words. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that little thought or that little plan that I've got with you guys. And hopefully I can start getting in contact with somebody who will put me under some kind of hypnotic regression to figure out what went on that day. You guys have been awesome. As always, do hit the thumbs up. Drop down in the comments box below as well, guys, if you've had experiences or you've ever been under hypnotic regression let me know what the results were for you if it's worth doing or if it's all just if it's all just a bit woo woo i'm not really sure at this point what i think of it but um yeah i'm gonna let you guys get on with the rest of your day take it easy wherever you are in the world stay safe and i'll see you on the next one. Oh, just before i head out there is another point i want to make guys and that is that i'm posting now almost every fourth day so when the, whenever there's a video released you will notice um, for the last few videos, four days later there will be a new video. Seems to be working really well, the channel's growing and you guys are spreading the word um, about the 401 files, which I really appreciate. So yeah, I'm going to let you go now guys, take it easy, stay safe, I'll see you on the next one.